Hi, who are you? Uh, hi, I'm Agneta Pettersson. I'm from Sweden. And where are we now? Uh, we are at home uh, textile in uh, Frankfurt. Heim textil. Heim textil, yeah. Uh, yes, I mean Swedish. <laughs> so what do you think about Heim textil? Uh, I think it's very good. Uh, uh, it's a very good fair for uh, for the textiles uh, interest. It's do you make like lots of business here? Uh, yes, this is the first time, and I have uh, lots of uh, uh, new contacts, and uh, hopefully it will be a very good fair for me. Are fairs important nowadays? Yes, uh, then you meet a lot of people and you get to uh, get uh, uh, yes, it's very good for for the uh, fairs. I think the fair. So what kind of things do you do? I mean, do you s say that you are a Swedish design company or or Scandinavian design company? Uh, yes, I'm a Swedish uh, designer and uh, and I like this uh, new uh, Do you like this new what? <laughs> I like this uh, design that I make, yeah. yeah. Do so, but you buy a lot of things that are ready-made already from different places, or do you design everything from scratch? Uh, I I I do a lot of uh, designs, but I s I do uh, buy some uh, uh, already made ups as well. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? I love this uh, boiled uh, wool. Show me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one uh, it's a very good. Uh, in this uh, boiled wool. Uh, boiled wool? Yes, it's very soft and nice. And I, I love this uh, linen. It's over here. This is so nice and, and soft. And they have these uh, beautiful uh, uh, buttons on it. And it comes very easily on the bed. So it's, uh, it's more Scandinavian look, I think. Well, thank you for showing me around. Well, good luck with the fair and uh, happy Heimtextil. Yeah, thank you very much. Step we gaily on we go, heel for heel and toe for toe. Arm and arm and arm we go, off on Mari's wedding. Over hillways, up and down, myrtle green and black and brown. Past the shilling through the town, all for sake of Mari. Step we gaily on we go, heel for heel and toe for toe. are you here? I'm Karen Hennessy. I'm the Chief Executive of the Design and Crafts Council of Ireland. So we're in Dublin in Ireland and we're watching uh, an, a, a trade show called Showcase. What is this? It's our, I suppose, our largest international trade fair here in Dublin and it's really what we're representing is all Irish craft and design. So we have 464 exhibitors from ceramics, from jewellery, from giftware, from fashion, you name it in terms of gift and in terms of craft and design. It's here in Showcase this week. And we've got 5,000 buyers coming in. 4,000 of those are domestic, so from Ireland, and about 1,000 are coming in internationally from all over the, the world. So we've got 26 different countries represented at Showcase. Amazing. So there's a lot of good stuff to find here. Um, so you're from the uh, Crafts and Design Council. What is that? And, and is it working the same way as the as Scandinavian organizations are doing? Yes, um, I suppose we're about promoting Irish craft and Irish design, um, promoting and supporting makers and designers right across the island of Ireland and we're support our funding comes through the Department of Jobs Enterprise and Innovation so very economic um, remit and really about supporting them across the country providing opportunities and trying to internationalize our clients. You're a fairly big organization we just talked about over a cup of coffee. That's like 3,000 enterprises? That's right. There's um, 3,000 craft enterprises registered with the Design and Crafts Council and they employ about 6,000 people. So a very significant sector within Ireland and great opportunity to grow this particular area. 
and we just uh, we just had a coffee. We just had a coffee and talked about this and how the amazing it is to be here in Dublin. And you talked you're going to do a lot of international things this year. It's like um, ten shows and etc. We have an amazing year lined up. Busy, crazy, but brilliant. So this year is year of Irish design so Irish design 2015 and what we're doing is that we're celebrating Irish design in many forms so from craft from fashion from textiles to medical devices engineering software right the way through to animation FX organizational design service design food design you get the idea if there's a word design in it we're celebrating it so for any of the viewers who are watching this and they want to buy something specific specifically Irish what should they buy well, um, I suppose Ireland really offers a whole range of wonderful things. So if you're looking for furniture, we've brilliant furniture makers, a whole host of them. And like all Irish mummies, I don't have any favourites, but <laughs> um, Joseph Walsh, based out in Kinsale, is a magnificent furniture maker. We've got beautiful uh, fashion, loads of various very high profile fashion as you were mentioning there's Orla Kylie there's Sonia Lennon there is um, Louise Kennedy there is Helen McLinden there's just reams of them in terms of ceramics we've got Mosses which is a really well-known brand Castle Art Pottery the, uh, the list goes on we have something for everyone so what should I buy I'm here now in Dublin for three days and I'm gonna scout the city to find my favorites but what should I look out for what should I buy well, I think a beautiful hand-woven silk scarf by Brendan Joseph would be amazing on you. And how about a little dicky bow <laughs> for your interviews? Uh, that, would, that would go very well. Um, what you will find in Ireland are very beautiful knits. And actually, this particular showcase, um, we have a lot of Japanese buyers that come in specifically for knits. So I think you should keep an eye out for um, maybe a nice new uh, pure wool jumper. Yeah. Um, but there's lots on offer from watches to jewellery. I don't know if you're someone who would like to wear a, a man brooch. Um, um, we have beautiful leather goods, actually. So a satchel, uh, beautifully bound. We have a lot of printed books. And you'll, again, you'll see a great idea of what's coming through. And if you have someone special in your life, we have lots and lots of beautiful jewellery. And beautiful silk scarves for the ladies. And uh, so uh, hopefully you will find what you what you're looking for here in Dublin this week in at Showcase. Well, thank you, Karen. I'm going to send you off, and I'm going to do my starting. I was going to see the people are like pouring in now. There are lots of people. Apparently, lots, of, hundreds and hundreds of those are coming on this morning. So, um, thanks for seeing me, and um, I'll look forward to see you again soon. I'll see you in New York, and in, in Milan, and in London, and wherever. Yeah. Bye. Bye.